ha, you failed. You loser, you're weak. You're worthless and weak. You're <laughs> God, God, that hurts just saying that, man. <laughs> oh, man. Intro! <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Oh, God. Okay, okay. a little bit more. Pretty cool shot there, huh? So this week I want to talk about a failure that I had. Last weekend I went downtown to ask strangers questions. Hi, my name is Derek and welcome to my YouTube channel. I call it Stretch Yourself because I'm trying to encourage myself and others to stretch ourselves just a little bit in all aspects of our lives. Today I'll be stretching myself socially by asking these people what they think of 2020 and if they have anything positive that happened to them this year and it didn't happen. Just wasn't feeling it, you know? I just wasn't, uh, I kept coming up with excuses and reasons why I shouldn't do it. Like it was later to the end of the day and there was poor lighting and there just wasn't enough people out and it was all bullshit. Okay, let's just be honest. Chicken sh I couldn't do what I thought was really hard. What's interesting about this is I've gone downtown and I've asked strangers questions for other YouTube videos, I think four times. Approaching strangers, okay, in the middle of their walk, asking them to stop to a complete stranger who's going to ask them a question about something random is tough to do. It is difficult. But yeah, lots of friendly people down there. Lots of friendly people willing to always stop for me whenever I've asked strangers questions. And the first person is always the hardest and then it gets easier from there. I just had to break the seal, but I didn't, I couldn't. God! So Derek, that's great and all, but uh, why are you running during this uh, YouTube video, during this uh, exposition? Well, I felt like I needed to do something difficult. And then secondly, uh, I just wanted to get outside. I want to get some good footage before the rain and I want to launch the drone. Killing two birds, yo. I mean, yo, I'd be living fat. Okay, sorry, yeah. Been listening to uh, too much uh, DOS effects. Yeah. Anyway, what I want to talk about is that failure is temporary. Failure is a chapter. Failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. I have a great example about temporary failure. Failure. I had an 18 year long failure, actually. Tried stand up comedy in college. Killed it. Totally knocked the doors out of the auditorium. Okay, killed it. 600 people. Did it a year later, almost the same exact routine. Did it a year later in college as well. Booed off stage, got heckled. It was horrible. It was a nightmare, it scarred me. After that night, I didn't do comedy. I didn't stand up again for 18 years. I let it burn and stew in my head for 18 years. So what did I do? I asked one of my best friends to hold me accountable, make me go stand up, and to make a long story short, I've done it a total of 38 times now. So that feels like an 18 year setback. That seemed, that felt like forever, but even that was temporary. Well, we all know people who have never made a mistake, right? They're perfect, right? You can think of those people right now, right? Yeah, me too. Yeah, but those are also the same people who never tried anything new. The same people that weren't willing to fail. 
But failures in life are just setbacks. And we all know that setbacks are temporary. This takes me back to the Hans Marathon training days. I gotta do more of this. We'll get me there. But yeah, man, just shoot your shot. There are so many famous people who had so many failures in their lives. Walt Disney was fired from a newspaper for having no imagination. There's this rather uh, famous writer named Thomas Paine, who was a failed corset maker, failed teacher, and failed tax accountant before he wrote Common Sense. Julia Child didn't publish her first cookbook until she was almost 50. Yeah, I'm holding on to that one. I'm turning 50 next month. Colonel Sanders didn't start selling his yummy Kentucky Fried Chicken until he was in his 60s. Winston Churchill was considered a has-been who liked to scotch a little bit too much. And then he brought Britain to world peace. Which reminds me, if you haven't watched The Crown on Netflix, you gotta see that shit, man. It is so good. I know it seems like it's gonna come across and be like this, you know, stuffy monarchy crap. I mean, trust me, trust me, I had that, I had that block too, okay? But no, it is so good. Any hoodle. Goethe, the famous uh, German philosopher, he said, everything is hard and then it is easy. So everything has to fail first before it can succeed, before it can move on. Hey, if you like this video, would you please give me a, and subscribe also if you're something, you know, if you think that's cool. Um, and hey, leave a comment below, will you? Will you leave a comment below about, you know, a failure you've had if you're willing to talk about that. I'm looking to collab with people too, you know? Hey, if that's something you wanna do, like you wanna be on my channel, and uh, if you wanna tell your story, you wanna tell a failure to success story, or, or just talk about, and uh, you know, do it. Please reach out. Thanks so much for watching.